Yo, what's good, YouTube? Before we get into this video, make sure y'all hit the sub button. Make sure y'all like the video. Go check out my last video. Um, all right, so we finna get into it. So, if you wanted, if you wanted to ever play any type of PlayStation Two game that you wanted, you have a computer. This is the video to check out. So, um, if you wanna search up PCSX2.net. It's gonna pop up gonna click the latest stable you're gonna click 32 bit installer you're gonna open it if it comes up as a virus it's not a virus but I'm pretty sure it won't all right so you're gonna click the open button you're gonna click install you're gonna click normal installation click next I'm gonna ask you do you want to allow the app for my unknown publisher to make these changes click next Click install. It's not that much. Space required. Click install. Click run. And it'll open up like this. Gonna click next. The only reason it's asking me to import existing settings because I had it once already. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So. I'm pretty sure if you installed it, this should pop up. If not, I'll leave the, everything in the description. All right, here's where it get where it gets tricky. Um, you're gonna need the BIOS. This is just for research purposes only. Um, you'll have to find that on Google. I may possibly leave that in the description as well. But you need the BIOS. Um. I don't know why my bio is not popping up. I probably have to reinstall them. But once you do that, you're gonna click finish, and then it'll pop up. All right. So once you get the bios, it's gonna look like this. So if you're in Europe, you'll click Europe. And I'm in USA, so I'll click USA. Obviously, um, I just click use default setting. Click finish, then it'll pop up like this. So with ISOs and stuff like that, um, but once you have the ISOs and stuff, all right, my bad, but it'll look like this. Um, it'll look like this when you're done installing. For to get the games, I'll leave that in the description as well. Um, this is all only for research purposes only. Do this at your own risk. Um, all right, so once you have all that installed, you got a emulator install. That now comes the fun part you want to search in any game you want. So, I will type in the say I wanted to play Lord of the Rings, all the Lord of the Rings will pop up. Make sure you look for the system. So, you see how it says Nintendo Game Advance and all that. So I want to play two towers, so I will type in Lord of the Rings towers. And I will find the, the game and I will click, click the game. And then you see where it says download, you hit download. So when you do that, it's going to download. And then that's go. Click system, ISO selector, browse, and then you go to the location. You may have to extract it onto your PC using 7-Zipper Renoir if it doesn't download the file right away. Like right away. It's going to look like an ISO file with a CD. So for mine, I got mine in my documents. I have it um, set as PS2 ISO. So you go to that, and it will look something like this, this image file. Now, if you open it up through 7-Zip, like if it's a RAR file and you open it up through 7-Zip, it'll have it in there. You'll have to extract it. So you click it. Once you click it, you're going to click boot ISO. You can click full or fast. I click fast. It doesn't matter. Then once you do that, the game's going to pop up. Um, I don't. So I will show gameplay, but I don't have my controller hooked up at the moment. 
what I recommend y'all to do is download DS4 Windows so you can play. But then again, I don't think you need DS4 Windows. You may or may not. If you have, a, if your, if your computer has a wireless sensor in it, you could just connect your controller wireless. But for the people that don't got wireless, you can just use DS4 Windows. I'll leave the, the um. The link to the in the bio for that too. All you gotta do is install it, and then connect your PlayStation controller with a with the USB cord. But once that's done, it'll pop up. Yeah, and then see as I'm playing the game. Just to show y'all that this still is the PlayStation later. Still is the PlayStation. I'll boot it again. See? Actually, the PlayStation. Alright, so with that being said, that's it for this video. Make sure y'all sub up. Make sure y'all like the video. Get this out to everybody who got a PC and may want to play PlayStation 2 games. Before I end the video off, I do want y'all, <clears throat> I do want to make sure that y'all go to controllers, go to plug-in settings, and then click Windows Messaging and Recommend it, Direct Input, X Input, Monitor when in Background, Disable, Start Without Mouse Focus, click Pad 1, and you see all these where it says, Input, X input pad zero all that so what you want to do is on some games it might be circle might be okay and X might be back so you just want to make sure that you set up all your buttons um, when you have it connected through DS4 Windows just make sure you set up all these buttons so you will push the you will push this and then you'll push L1 on the controller You'll push that R1 and so on. That's just to make sure that all your controls are lining up, make sure they configure and everything like that. Because I hate for you to get into a game and you doing some crazy stuff. Like you you can't run because your analog stick not set up or you're doing something else and you like you played the game before but the button is not corresponding to how the game is supposed to be played. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Make sure y'all sub up, make sure y'all like this video so it can get out to everybody that may wanna play one of their old PS2 games that they always wanted to play on PC.